Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, people, let's get started this evening. I'm going to take the attendance for tomorrow's assistance, okay? Alba Griselda Arteaga Mejia. Present teacher. Ana Lilian Flores de Morales. Present. Okay. Ana Luisa Castillo Lopez. Present teacher. Araceli del Carmen Baños de López. Asael Erasmus Arabia Morales. Blanca Araceli Moreno Hernández. Carolina Esperanza Pérez Meléndez. Celso Estaú Vilorio Barahona. Present teacher. Efren Moisés Martínez Lemus. Present teacher. Okay. Elsie Beatriz Ortiz Cisneros. Flor de María Sánchez Vázquez. Presente. José Carlos Reyes Valle. Present teacher. Juan Antonio Erroa Escalante. Present teacher. Keila Nahara Soriano Villanueva. Present teacher. Kenneth Vladimir Ojeda Marroquín. Margarita del Carmen Linares Ortiz. Present teacher. María Angélica Azucena Díaz. Present. María Belén Maeda Barrientos. Present teacher. María Esther Jiménez Ramos. Present teacher. María Mercedes Mejía Avelar. Marlon Ausberto Rivera Rodríguez. Presente. Okay. Merlin Nairobi Aguilar Castro. Presente. Miriam Josabet Guzmán Barahona. Presente, teacher. Pamela Esmeralda Hernández González. Presente. Sandra Eugenia Ramírez Chávez. Susana Yasmín Rodrigo Prado, Rodríguez Prado. 
present. Okay. Veronica Elizabeth Reyes Reyes. Present teacher. Veronica Lisette Flores de Osorio. Present. Senia Ivania Beltrán Rivas. Present teacher. Quick review. Araceli del Carmen. Hasta el Erasmo. Blanca Araceli. Araceli del Carmen, aquí estoy. <laughs> Presente. Carolina Esperanza, Elsie Beatriz, Kenneth Vladimir. Presente, teacher. <coughs> Kenneth, tienes que registrarte con tu nombre completo, no solo con un nombre y apellido, por favor. Tiene que aparecer tu nombre completo, ¿ok? María Mercedes Mejía. Ok, people. Ah, Sandra Eugenia. Ok, people. Bueno, por ahí vi una crisis existencial ahora en el WhatsApp con la tarea. Estaban unos hasta queriendo buscar play. Tranquilo. ¿Verdad? No. Eh, quiero saber, ¿verdad? levántenme la mano virtual, quienes no han terminado la sección 2. Ni la 1, bueno, la... Okay. Hola, buenas noches, ya. perdón, la hora ya llegué. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. La 1 sí, la terminaron o todavía tienen pendiente algo de la 1. Vamos a ir bien. Eh, salgamos de esto. Va, sección 1, tarea 1. Esta. ¿Esta ya la hicieron? Hello, what's your name? Hi. Sí, teacher. Yes. Ah, bye. Yes. Tarea 2. Aquí es donde tenían un audio. ¿Ya? Sí, teacher. Yes. Está allá. Yes. Bye. Está más fácil. Yo que... en eso estoy trabajando yo, teacher. Uy, ¿por qué vos estás atrasado? Aquí sí estás atrasado, mira. Bastante. <risa> Vaya. Eh... Miren, no debe, debe, de, se debe hacer esto, pero por cuestiones de que avancen rápido, tomen nota. Después, si quieren, lo pasan en limpio, pero tomen nota, ¿verdad? Uno, John. Rapidito, tenemos que avanzar. Dos, Sara. 3, Stephen, Stephen, 4, Catherine, 5, Chris. Ah, no, pues que no quiero dejar el silencio de esto en el WhatsApp. Solo. Uno, John. J-O-N. Dos, Sara. Sin H. Tres, Stephen. P-H. Aquí es deletreado. Four, Catherine. Con Y. Five, Chris. Con K. Ok, abusado. La siguiente tarea. nota de las posibles respuestas y lo voy a alargar mejor 
one, I am, o I'm, o I am. Cualquiera de estas tres. Uno. Dos. Is. Queda todas las posibles respuestas. Tres. Is. Cuatro. Are. Cinco. I am. O oh, my name is. Cualquiera de esas. Cinco. It is. It is. Okay. Seguimos. Tarea. Siguiente tarea. Y también es un audio. Tomen uno de los números. No tomen todo. Tomen uno porque es el mismo. Cualquier combinación de eso es correcto. Miren esto. Este. Dos. Ah, el uno, perdón, el uno. David Medina, 212-555-1937. Number 2-347-555-7645. Número 3, 201-555-1937. Seis cuatro seis cinco 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 tres ocho cero seis número cinco es el mismo seis cuatro seis cinco 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 tres ocho cero seis es el mismo y número siete siete uno ocho cinco 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 nueve nueve seis Dime Verónica Verónica Elizabeth Veo tu mano levantada Dime ¿Más preguntas? No, eh, ya ya aclaró mi duda Teacher era Era donde dijo que era It is Ah ok uh -huh. Va, ejercicio 2.4. Vamos a ver. Okay. Como están tomando nota, ¿verdad? Traten de hacerlo ustedes. Si no lo han hecho, no corrían. Ok. Y tienen que escuchar. No. Sí, hay, hay un audio acá. Uh, no, son preguntas en cuanto a la imagen. One CD player. Number two, perdón. One is one. ¿Qué número dijo, perdón? Two CD player. Vayan viendo la pantalla. Denegado Asael. Eh, what are these? Tomen nota. Number four. It's a watch. Number five. Is this? Quiero puede ser lo que hemos Y number six, sunglasses. They are sunglasses. Ok. 
okay. It's a CD player. Are these? It's a watch. Is this their sunglass? Igual a eso de las diez y media, no, como a las once. Ya está este video en YouTube. Ok, 2.7. Number, number one is. Number two are. Number three, where. Where. Number four, it's not. It's not. Next. Look at the pictures and input the correct answer in black. Okay, vean las fotos. Books are the book bag. Hay varias formas de responder, pero puede tomar in the book bag. In the book bag. Number one. Number two, next to the television. Number three. Under the newspaper. Number four. Behind the desk. Number five. On the purse. Number six, in front of the address book. In front of the address book. Okay. Repito, como a las once ya está este video en YouTube. ¿Quieren develarse o lo ven mañana temprano? Eh, luego acá. Number one. In the purse. In the purse. Two. In front of, a, of television. In front of television. Number three, on the chair, on the chair. Number four, under the table, under the table. Okay, repito, one, in the purse, two, in front of television, Three on the chair, four under the table. Okay, y ahí terminamos la sección dos. Solo por la prisa que les están poniendo. Eh, 
en la plataforma ustedes sepan que si hacen una tarea y les sale la nota no les sale bien pues la vuelven a hacer hasta que tengan la nota correcta Alba Griselda ¿tienes alguna pregunta? Eh, sí, teacher. Eh, referente a las actividades que está comentando ahorita, eh, tendríamos que hacerlas ya para ahora porque según lo que he estado revisando la plataforma, eh, hay actividades que son de la semana 2 y estamos en la semana 1 y yo como he ido haciendo actividad por semana, entonces... Por ejemplo, de los números, según la clase que hemos ido viendo, así he ido haciendo las actividades. Y sí, a veces, yo les entiendo. lo de los números no habíamos llegado, yo por eso no las había hecho. Miren, lo que pasa es que la academia tiene ese, esa programación de tareas, porque después lo que sucede es que los alumnos terminan el módulo y no terminan las tareas, y terminan reprobando el módulo por eso. Entonces la academia se toma esta tarea de estarles recordando, de estarles insistiendo y de ponerles un, una, un calendario de, de, de ir completando la plataforma. Sí, porque según se lo puede, que... Se puede Solo ir avanzando. Que... Ustedes pueden avanzar, no tienen que ir al ritmo de las clases, ustedes pueden avanzar. Alguien por ah, ahí okay. en el grupo pueden ver los videos y, y avanzar. ¿Verdad? Si en alguna tarea de las que ustedes vayan adelantando se traban, no hay la pueden hacer, pues cuando lleguemos ahí la corrigen ¿verdad? lo importante es que sí no vayan acumulando que no pasemos acumulando porque después al final del módulo no terminan las cosas ¿de acuerdo? ese es el énfasis y esa es la presión por la cual la academia está insistiendo eso porque igual ¿verdad? es, es si no, aunque tengan buen porcentaje de asistencia, si no tienen buena nota, no pasa. Ambas cosas son importantes. Dime, Ana Lilia. Sí, una pregunta. Eh, los exámenes es igual que las actividades, que digamos si uno se equivoca, lo puede repetir o solamente... Sí, se eh, puede. Se puede. Ah. Sí, se puede. No, bueno, la idea es que aprendan. Pues, no estamos por una nota, sino porque aprendan. ¿Qué pasa? Que hay que sacar una nota para Insanfor. ¿Verdad? Y si no tienen el 80% de Insanfor, no los aprueba. Punto. No pueden seguir. Ok. ¿Ah? Ok. Bueno, como les repito, si no lograron tomar notas, si llegaron tarde, el video... Sí, lo subo hasta eso de las 11 de la noche. Lo que tengo que terminar la clase de 9 a 10 y luego ponerme a subir los dos videos. ¿Ya? Entonces, let's get started to work. ¿Ok? Vamos a comenzar. Um, Okay. In this lesson, tenemos aquí different forms or different ways to say hello. Diferentes maneras de decir hola. Okay. Say hello. That is the topic here. Tenemos cuatro conversaciones cortas. Déjame leer. El audio que okay. se las leo. Okay, number one. Hi, Matthew. How are you? Great. How about you, Lisa? Two. I'm just fine. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Good morning, Mr. Garcia. How are you? I'm just fine, Alex. Thank you. Conversation three. 
Good afternoon, Brad. How are you? Not bad, thanks. How are you? Four. Good evening, Mrs. Morgan. Hello, Miss Chen. How are you? I'm okay. Thank you. Okay. Voy a leer una vez más y se las voy a grabar en WhatsApp. Saying hello. Conversation one. Hi, Matthew. How are you? Great. How about you, Lisa? Conversation two. Good morning, Mr. Garcia. How are you? I'm just fine, Alex. Thank you. Conversation three. Good afternoon, Brad. How are you? Not bad. Thanks. How are you? Conversation four. Good morning, Mrs. Morgan. Hello, Miss Chen. How are you? I'm okay. Thank you. Very good. Just let me write here. Conversation. Okay. Repeat after me, please. Hi, Matthew. How are you? Hi, Matthew. How are you? Great. How about you, Lisa? Great. How are you? Good morning, Mr. Garcia. How are you? Good morning, Mr. Garcia. Mr. Garcia, how are you? I'm just fine, Alex. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, Brad. How are you? Good afternoon, Brad. How are you? How are you? Not bad, thanks. How are you? How are you? Good evening, Mrs. Morgan. Good evening, Mrs. Morgan. Hello, Miss Chen. How are you? Hello, Miss Chen. How are you? Chen, how are you? I'm okay. Thank you. I'm okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So let me show you some greetings. Greetings. Oh, saludos. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good, morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello. 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 Yeah. Pueden ver las... Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Es la mañana, and the bottom, Mr. Garcia. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, it's como yeah. 1 p.m. 1 or 2 p.m., okay? Una o dos de la tarde. Good evening. Yeah, casi Good la evening. Seis. ¿Verdad? Casi la seis. Good evening. Good evening. Good okay. evening. Hi. Good Hi. morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. Good evening. Good, Good evening. evening. Hello. 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 Luego, um, tenemos también estas preguntas. Tenemos. How are you? How about you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Yeah. How are you? Okay. Y 
Vean cómo se responde diferentes formas de responder esa pregunta. Great. I'm just fine. Thank you. Not bad. Thanks. I'm okay. Thank you. Okay. So, diferentes formas de responder esa pregunta. How are you? Or how are you? Okay. Great. I'm just fine. Uh, estoy bien. Not bad. Nada mal. I'm okay. Estoy bien. Any question with these conversations? No question. No. Okay, very Okay, let's continue with these conversations. We have, well, it's like one, three conversations in one. Tres conversaciones en una, no? It's over there. Okay, la voy a leer y la voy a grabar también. Conversation is over there. Excuse me, are you Stephen Carson? No, I'm not. He's over there. Oh, I'm sorry. Steven, this is your book. Oh, it's my math book. Thanks. You're in my class, right? Yes, I am. I'm Jennifer Miller. It's nice to meet you. Hey, David, this is Jennifer. She's in our math class. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, David. Nice to meet you. Okay, let me write here. Conversation. Okay, one more time. Pay attention to the pronunciation, okay? Excuse me, are you Stephen Carson? No, I'm not. He's over there. Oh, I'm sorry. Steven, this is your book. Oh, it's my math book. Thanks. You're in my class, right? Yes, I am. I'm Jennifer Miller. It's nice to meet you. Hey, David. This is Jennifer. She's in our math class. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, David. Nice to meet you. Now repeat, please. Repeat after me. Excuse me, are you Stephen Carson? Excuse me, are you Stephen Carson? No, I'm not. He's over there. No, I'm not. He's over there. He's over there. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Steven, this is your book. Steven, Steven, this is your book. Oh, it's my math book. Thanks. Oh, oh it's, it's my, my math, math, math book. book. Math. Yes. You're in my Thanks. class, right? Yes, I am. I'm Jennifer Miller. Yes. Yes. I am I'm Jennifer Miller. It's nice to meet you. It's, it's nice, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. Hey, David, this is Jennifer. She's in our math class. 
Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, David. Nice to meet you. Hi, David. Nice to meet you. Okay, very good. Now we have three people here Jennifer, tenemos a Jennifer, David, and Steven. Okay? Así que los voy a mandar unos minutitos en grupo, de tríos, para que practiquen esta conversación. Intercambian papeles, ¿ok? Jennifer, David, and Steven. Ok. Ok. Igual ya se las voy a poner ahí en el WhatsApp para que la tengan a la mano. Ok, join the breakout rooms, please. Teacher los mandó para alguna aula hacer la actividad o algo. Yes. Ah, es que como a mí se me apagó la computadora, me desconecté, entonces acabo de ingresar nuevamente. Ok. Le escribí en el WhatsApp. Sí, sí, ok. Ok, te envío un grupo. Ahí está.
Okay, we're going to watch a video about the verb be. Video. Okay, watch the video, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements and questions using the verb to be. Let's get started by looking at the image on your screen. I would like to start by explaining the verb to be, which corresponds to each pronoun. As you can see, towards the left hand side of the chart, you can see the pronoun I that will be equals to M for the pronouns you we and they you're going to use R and for the pronouns he she and it then uh, we're going to use is so um, if we look at the examples I'm Jennifer Miller this is the same thing as saying I am Jennifer Miller you can see the meaning of those contractions towards the right hand side of the screen. Now let's try to make sense of this by looking at the examples on the chart. I'm Jennifer Miller. You're in my class. She's in our class. Jennifer is in our class. He's over there. Steven is over there. It's my math book. It's Miller. My last name is Miller. In order to understand this, you need to follow this particular rule that I'm going to display here um, on this document. Let me just change the size. One second. All right. Uh, and we're going to try to make sense of it, right? The subject uh, or pronoun is the first thing that we're going to have in order to form sentences. So, for example, I is the subject. And as we saw, here, we can see that the verb to be to use whenever we use the pronoun or the subject I will be am. I am. And the complement is just other words that are used. So, for example, I am Joe. So, we got a subject, the verb to be, and then some kind of complement. Uh, let's give a, another example. I uh, the verb to be, I am. And what is the complement to that? I'm going to say an English teacher. Okay, let me give another example. Uh, now I'm going to um, give an example with he. He is the subject of our sentence. Uh, and um, if you remember uh, for that, we're going to use the verb to be is. He is. And we're going to say uh, Mario, that's his name. Um, he, then we're going to say he is um, a mechanic. He is. at work. Uh, let me go ahead and give an example with the pronoun they uh, and they are my co-workers. Now let's learn how to form yes or no questions using the verb to be. Let's look at this example that, that you see here on this chart. Are you Stephen Carson? That's a question. The way you respond to that question is by saying, yes, I am, or no, I'm not. Uh, then there's one last question there, how are you? We're going to focus on forming this yes and no questions using the verb to be. As I explained previously, um, I'll show you how to form statements using the verb to be, where we use the subject, the verb to be, and the complement. Um, what we're going to do next 
and so we're going to do we're going to follow something very similar with the exception that we're going to form questions so i'm going to copy this formula that i show you and i'm going to paste it here because i want you to see the relation between the two what we're going to do essentially is we're going to move this verb to be before the pronoun okay so we're going to move this verb to be before the pronoun and that's how you form questions um, so look at the example are you Stephen Carson we move the verb to be before the pronoun you okay so our formula needs to change uh, now instead of uh, the subject at the beginning we're going to say that that's the verb to be at the beginning and then we're going to say that that's the uh, subject uh, or the pronoun okay and then it's going to follow some kind of complement so we're going to take the same examples here and simply change the order and that's basically how we form questions um, so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here at the bottom um, and as I mentioned what we're going to do is we're going to change the verb to be to the beginning and we're going to put the pronoun there so let's look at that this one changes here and there we go so the first question is am I Joe yeah, obviously you need to change things like spelling at the beginning with capitals am I Joe okay um, and the next one I am an English teacher what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the order and I'm going to say am I an English teacher all right and then we put a question mark at the end so how would we form the next one um, he is Mario okay if I want to ask the question I'm going to change the verb to be to the beginning and I'm going to say is he Mario okay is he uh, mechanic is is he at work are they my co-workers now what I would like for you to do is to give some examples of your own. Okay, people, quick review. So the verb be. For subject I, the pronoun, the pronoun I, to be is am. For you, <clears throat> is are, you are, he is, she is. It is you plural are we are they are. Okay. 
That's the verb be. So as the verb. I am. You are. Is. He is. She is. It is. You are. We are. They are. Okay. Y tenemos acá las contractions. contractions okay. <clears throat> I am. I. You are. Your. He is his. She is she. It is it. No se aparecen acá todavía las plurales. So we are, they are. Okay. Vemos que para formar preguntas simplemente we change the order. Okay. You are Stephen Carson. The question is, are you Stephen Carson? Okay. Is he Jennifer? Is she Jennifer? Is he David? Etc. Y ya no nos queda tiempo, pero completan este ejercicio con las correctas. Escojan la forma correcta en cada oración. Hello, Jennifer, how are you? Jennifer, Jennifer dice. Hello, I. Continue on. And we'll see that on on Monday. Okay, vamos a verlo hasta el lunes. Bueno, cualquier duda y por WhatsApp, pero terminen por favor la sección 1 y 2. Cerramos la plataforma, ¿verdad? Ya tienen la respuesta. Ok. Good night, people. See you. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good